War. War on the one minute chart. The battle. The German pinpricks. Every time I make a video, you're supposed to learn something. I was just inspired to share with you. So hold on, let me light a cigarillo. We got weakness on Red Army. It's got a tail. I taught you about tails. That's why I light it with a match, you know why? Because it's much more fucking interesting. You pull out a nice wooden match and you strike a flame and you go to war. Now I have a small position in here on Ethereum. If you get lucky, you'll be able to see me throttle it up and maybe pull like 400%. So this is just like a leave it trade. Just a leave it trade. What do we see here? Weakness. Tail on the red side. So we are stuck in a little shitty trade zone on the six hour. We're moving up, moving up. So here you go. But who has time for a six hour? You know what some jerk off said in my comments? He said, if you don't explain to me what the German pinpricks are, well, I'm gonna put a thumbs down on every video. I just said you're an asshole. Watch what a no trade zone looks like. It's no direction. I'll show you the trades I did today. See, nothing going on. I hate when it's like this. So we're gonna do some other things. Let me show you my trades from today. Hold on, let me make sure. What are you nosy bastards looking at? My girlfriend? My trades? My cars? <laughs> oh, the joy. Anyway, so this was today. I was going long making some YouTube videos. And then I told everybody in my Discord, hey, look at this. So this is going short. Let me show you something. Come to my Discord, check this out. Oh, daily trade updates. I do this shit for free, so check this out, right? This is like foretelling the future. Nobody can do this. What do I say? Even though the six hour, okay, is showing that it may want a long, right? Bottom line is that be careful. This has been a big move up, and my feeling is what goes up goes down. My wolves got it. We are wolves. I gave a warning at 654. Get out of long positions as soon as you are in profit. This is a setup. I entered my short, okay, three hours later. Feels like a lifetime ago. So my short starts rocking, okay? So we go back, 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 a little bit later. Now I will begin to add more contracts. This is how you do it. Did you get out of long as when I called it? Perfect. And then I said, short, here we are, baby. You know how much this costs? This is free. If you come to my Discord and you're a smart ass, we're gonna throw you out. No memes, no fucking fortune telling, predicting numbers of the future. Only I can do that, it's my Discord. And then BitMEX wouldn't let me throttle. What's throttling? You go ahead, and when it's going your way, you slam the accelerator, you pull that leverage as far as you can and buy all the contracts you can, and they lock me out. And that's why I like Bit7 better. That's why I like Bit7 better. It's a nice downward, downward move. Bit7 put out a really good video today. Not Alex the trader. He won't even challenge me. Every time I go in his uh, stupid live stream, it's like God has arisen. The trading God is here. It's so ridiculous. Look, anybody could do this. I'm no smarter than you. I can show you how to do this. This is easy. It's a battle. It's not trading. We don't care about the past. Everybody I've trained how to do this in my one-on-ones knows how to see the future. And look, it ain't just me. Let's go see something. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, fresh testimonial, maybe. 
Oracle recommended we take profits minutes before the dump, and I could ride the pinpricks down for 100% on my way home. Oh man, that makes me so happy. This is what it's all about. What do I see here? Where is this position? Here it is. See that? Good man. Good man. Fucking love OB. Reminds me of a tampon. Who's this? Crypto X. Alright, don't tell anyone. But she was down huge. I told her to move and bam, 156%. So listen, that's why she said her helpless BitMEX position. You know, she's a woman. Yep, yep, she's taking my German pinpricks to another level. She's a very good trader. But no one outtrades me. Look at this. This is another woman that had a consultation with me. And she said, had no idea of trading. Today I played war. And the green team won thanks to the German pinprick strategy. 120.44%. Ha, ah, really happy. Now I feel confident trading this way. We'll put a little more BTC in my positions and take a consultation. Yeah, we talked. She's doing great. The best in... Oh, that's what she said. Take the consultation. The best investment. Yeah, it's 0.11. Get in touch with me. So let's go all the way up. Just have my conversation with Oracle. It's really easy to understand. You speak to me as a brother. That's so lovely. Sounds a little gay. It, it was great hearing the guy I hear so much actually talking to me, helping me out, wishing me well, sharing all that great knowledge. I expect this to be life-changing. Can't wait to use his knowledge. It's cool as fuck. So let's go check this shit position. Okay, this is just up and down, up and down. I don't play this game. This is no trade zone. Let me give you some good intel. All right? I'm going to tell you something. Let me grab one of them giant logs known as a match. Hold on. All right, so here's the deal. You don't tr leave trades o open overnight. You do not leave trades open overnight. The only exception to that rule, <coughs> and this is the overall... Hold on, I got to push the overall grand secret in the game of war. You want to know what the grand secret is? This is such bullshit. I want more. Anyway, the grand secret to winning every trade is... How can I put this? Never put a lot of money in a trade. Never put a lot of money in a trade. Okay? Because I want you to check your dopamine. I want you to never put a lot of money in a trade and see if you get the same excitement and joy. You know why? Because a lot of you have a fucking gambling problem. And it's a lot of fun. I don't gamble. But I rock this chart inside out and backwards. But you need to think about that. So I added to my little position and I'm up more. I still think ETH is a piece of shit and I think we're gonna go below that. Do I wanna gamble? Here we go, look. You see the gambling field? I'll check it out. So, do I wanna add to my position and be greedy, right? Yeah. So now my liquidation is 172.85. We're in the fire zone. Was the Oracle correct? German pinprints marching to the ready. Oracle crushing it like an oracle. Crushing. I wanted to talk to you about this passive trading thing where you could have these traders trade for you and guarantee you a certain percentage every day and you could get started for as little as five bucks. Let me know in, in the comments if you want me to do a video on that. German pinpricks to the ready. Accelerated the throttle. Threw caution to the wind. This cigarillo smells like shit. I should live stream, but I'll tell you the truth, I do everything great except live stream. Except live stream. I can't live stream for shit. My OBS shows a black screen, no matter how I adjust it. Just doesn't want to play nice with the Oracle. I'd love to take all your questions and have your little comments on the side. I think that would be very cool. You know, people tell me in my consultations, they're like, you know, you're, you're a lot different in person. You're like very um, like calm and understanding and you take your time. It feels like I'm talking to somebody I knew a really long time. And you're actually nicer. <laughs> Fuck, I ain't got to be nice. 
I'm just gonna make sure you learn. Bam! Oracle trading live, baby. The magic secret. Always put money in that you don't care about, okay? And you'll be able to get huge wins. You think I care about 40,000 fucking contracts? This is for TV, baby. See why you want to be in Discord, okay? You want to be in my Discord because it's faster than I can make you a YouTube video and upload it and all that. I don't edit anything. I could care less. Okay, so now you have the reversal. But again, I don't care about this position. I have conviction, okay, in the fact that we will break 170, so I don't really care. I teach people who use Bitmax to throttle. So if you are up, say, I don't know, 250%. Let's look at one of my trades from the other day. I do like three or four trades a day. And that's it. I don't stare at the screen all day. I come in, I go to war, I kick ass. Let's see what this was. All right. So what you're going to do here is this is full throttle, full tilt. Then you're only going to sell half your position. If you had 100,000 contracts, you're only going to sell half at maximum profit. Okay? You're going to hold the other half. Why? Because of your stupid emotions that no matter what, you can't control. I'm going to explain, but hold on. Oh my God, this shit's crazy. <coughs> Holy shit. Hey listen, you gotta go see the movie Crypto. The trailer sucks. The movie is really good. And there's a secret plan in this. They're giving you messages, secret messages about Bitcoin. I always dissect stuff like that in the movies and it always happens. All right, so anyway, back to throttling. Wow, so look, you sell half your position because you're weak, I have to tell you. It took me a long time to get over this, but I'm gonna explain to you something from me that you need to know. You sell a half, right? Because if it continued going your way and you sold all of it, you'd be hating on yourself. Maybe you could've got 300% instead of uh, 173. So what you would do is the stupidest thing you could ever do. Take it from somebody who did it in the early days, okay? Even when I was trading options. And you're gonna try to get back in. I think you just had a 173% move. I don't know if it was short or long. Anyway, so 173% move. So if you were shorting and got that, and you try to get back in the game on the one minute, man, you're shorting near the bottom. So, the solution, back to selling half your position. Half your position is now uh, protected to your wallet. The other half, if it keeps going your way, you still get the same feeling of, wow, this is fucking great. Right? Think about it. And you're sitting there all happy. You've seen it maybe 280%, 325, the crazy numbers. That's what we do at high leverage. Anyway, so, I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, you see, so here goes German pinpricks upward formation, a little bit of volume here. What's liquidation on this, 172? Doesn't matter, I'm in cross. So I'm really running right now around 50X high octane against the wave, against the wave. What's going to happen? Who knows? I stare the devil in the eye, even though it's a perfect formation to run up more. Don't look at this, it'll freak you out. Okay, so we're at 171.53. Ready to go to battle? Let's go. What will happen? Will the Oracle go down in flames? Will he dodge the bullets? Look at this, man. Somebody's asking for a consultation. Gonna be my video, bro. Checking in on the battle. Oracle's down 16%. Weakness on the green side. Wow. 
Are you guys reading some of this stuff? The 444 technique from Oracle's video is genius. Made 40% at 50x. Going long. Thanks for a simple, clear console outlining the German pinprick strategy. What a weapon. Oracle, because of you and what you taught us about core number trading, made a thousand fucking dollars in the blink of an eye. You're the greatest, bro. We're wolves. What'd that say? Oracle is the only undefeated, undisputed BitMEX and now Bit7 champ. His German pinpricks never fail. He follow his advice and wait like a wolf in the woods. He made 1200% in Bit7. Wow. I'm doing my daily trade calls. That's awesome, bro. Look what he said. If you're not using Bit7 to trade, you're missing out. That's true. The battle. Are you ready to fight? The wolves, wolves of victory, we never lose. Every trade, we don't stare at the screen. We come in and we go to war. I'm the woman at chart like nobody else. It's easier than you think. It's the green army versus the red army. You find weakness and you attack. We avoid liquidation with strategies like the anti-liquidation defense move. I think it's called the ADLSM or some shit like that. I made up some name for it. It's so simple. Anyone can do this. You don't have to get liquidated. You should stop trading on BitMEX if you're new. They're, they're taking your money. But that's personal opinion. Are you afraid? There's nothing to fear. I gotta run.